Hey, kid, you ever see a dead body? I mean, um, you ever steal a cell phone? 20 bucks, dude, I'll give you, it's got all kinds of personal information on it. Hi there, I'm Timmy Joe. And today on the program, I'm going to tell you uh, where I got the cell phone and why you shouldn't recycle. Stay tuned after this intro, we're going to talk all about the, the recycling. Be a planeteer. Recycle. We, we do. do. Ah! So, um, Android phones in the bin. I mean, I went to Staples, Business Depot, whatever, and I saw this little phone sitting in their recycle bin because they have those, you know, electronics recycling things. You can recycle your toner cartridges, your old cables, your whatchamacallits, your doodads. And there's a, a spot for smartphones. And old, older people might think, that's where I should put it because it's, it's got batteries and stuff. And Best Buy and Staples, they'll never, you know, sell my information or blah, blah, blah. So they throw it in the bin. Meanwhile, there's no, like, sign-off. You know, there's no liability on uh, Staples or Best Buy's part to clear this or no one steals information from it. So if you're not a, you know, a savvy consumer, you could really have your stuff messed with. When I loaded this up, I connected it to a Wi-Fi, uh, you know, a pretty nice little Android phone here. It's got a little slidey keyboard, slidey, 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 and oh, it just, it loaded her email. This, this older lady, she had a picture of her and her granddaughter or something on the background of, of a phone. And uh, it just, it's, I loaded it on my Wi-Fi and it went bloom, 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 bloom. And it connected to her work email and her Gmail. Would you believe that? So I had access to these two things straight off the hop. And the funny part was when I, I logged into that Wi-Fi, I got an email on her Gmail that said, you just connected to, you know, blah, 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 phone with this or whatever. Was that you? And um, I was actually able to click on that email. So I could have said yes, and she would have been none the wiser. So uh, not only that, I had access to her work email, like for real. So I'm not a scuzzbag. I immediately cleared the phone because I might be a scuzzbag enough to go and steal you know, this from the recycling bin, but I'm not gonna steal people's information and I don't want the cops showing up at my door or anything like that. That is for sure. But uh, Staples, they weren't watching their recycling bins. As far as I'm concerned, it's like taking, you know, something out of the garbage, which is gross in itself. But this lady was so silly, she had her phone number written on the back of this phone. It didn't even peel that off when she put it in the bin. So I had access to her phone number, her email, and if I had dug a little deeper, who knows what else? Her text message history was on this. So if you're going to use these recycling bins, know that they don't take any responsibility for clearing your information or protecting the device until you know it's rounded up for delivery to the electronics you know place. And uh, if you're putting it in these bins, it's directly benefiting Best Buy, Walmart, you know, uh, Staples, because they're selling this recycled, you know, these recycled goods to someone. You got to know that. Okay. There's copper, there's platinum, there's, you know, whatever in the batteries and these things. And if you have enough of them in bulk, someone will buy them. And who knows if when you, you know, you put this in that bin, they're not selling it to someone that might try and, you know, take the information from these phones. Or if somewhere down the line, there isn't an employee at this recycling plant that's, you know, trying to get that information off it or something like that. So be a savvy consumer and don't throw a cell phone or something with personal information in one of these bins. I'll give you another example. This isn't the first time I did this. I did a video where I shot up a bunch of iPhones um, and they were old iPhone 3 GSs. But this is where I first realized that this is even a, a thing. I put my kid on this bin at Best Buy, at my local Best Buy, and he dropped his Hot Wheels into the, the bin. And when I felt in there to grab the Hot Wheels, there was like, it's like this bin hadn't been emptied in like months and months and months. And there were old computer mice, webcams, and all this cool free stuff just sitting, like, because this bin isn't even in Best Buy. It's like sitting in the mall, like in the, the hallway. So, um, and then there were all these iPhones and I've been wanting to like do a, a, a parody of tech Rex and blow up some iPhones. So it's like, 
sweet free swap and uh, I was able to get one of those iPhones on and there was like all these personal pictures of someone that didn't clear their information so I, I was able to find two different cases of this in my hometown uh, you know just not even trying imagine if I was uh, a hacker and I was just periodically going to these bins and pulling these phones out and, you know, stealing your information, getting into your your uh, your email and, you know, screwing up your life, uh, getting into your bank account, you know, stealing your identity. All of this stuff is possible. Why not make a couple bucks? Even, even this phone, it's like maybe five years old now. There's got to be an older person that could benefit from this. And if you sold it on Craigslist or, or Kijiji for 25 bucks, I'm sure someone would benefit from having this phone. It still functions as a phone. I could still get on the internet with it. So it's actually a pretty nice little jobby. Or you can even donate. There's websites and I would probably stick to something local. Um, you know, th there's local charities like I'm from Canada and I could find like a, a couple of things more locally in my province. Uh, places that accept phones like this for less fortunate people. And I was looking in the States. There's cell phone for soldiers. Uh, it's the militarywallet.com slash cell phone for soldiers so you know that you can donate these things so that uh you know veterans who serve get access to phones and stuff like that for for low cost or minimal fees or for free and then you have the peace of mind all of these services that i've been looking at say they will guarantee that your data is is protected so there's that as well so remember even if you clear the data i can probably get some stuff off of this phone so you want to be very careful. Like I could definitely recover pictures and videos off of it at the very least in any like, you know, email attachments and stuff like that. Because when you delete something, it's not actually deleted off of like an SD card or a phone like this. There are ways to recover files. Have you ever recycled a cell phone? Did I teach you something today? Do you consider me just an outright crook for taking the cell phone from the bin? Are you going to call the cops on me? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Timmy Joe, and I hope that uh, you learned a little, a little something and that you'll donate your cell phone to the less fortunate if, you know, something like this comes up and you, you know, you have a free upgrade or whatever. You guys have a good day, and I will see you in the video uh, later this week. Blah! This is a Chucky Beat production. 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 production.